Hello friends, welcome to my channel here at Akis. In this video, let me explain how to upgrade our Angular application version 18 into 19. For doing this implementation, I am having one application. It's in Angular 18, okay? And also it's having some third party library such as ngx mask toaster and also ngrx is implemented, okay? So currently this application is running mode and all the features are working fine. You can see one of the listing screen here actually i have implemented one complete redaction with ngrx okay the same application only i am going to upgrade into angular 19 okay so i have listed out all the steps in my document we can go one by one so meanwhile let me open the official angular upgrade gate document okay So here we can choose our current version. I am choosing 18 and the target version is 19. Okay. So in case if your current application in 17 or 16, we cannot directly move to Angular 19. The first step is we have to convert the 17 into 18. Then we have to move on 19. So already I have done the video. If you need, you can refer in our channel and also I have included video in the description for upgrading into Angular 18. Okay. So now we can proceed this from Angular 18 to 19. So in this bottom, we can see the changes. What are the things we supposed to follow? Okay. Whenever Angular release the new version, they will include some new feature that is not going to make an impact in our upgrade time. At the same time, they will duplicate some existing item, okay? That need to be checked on. See, this is the command, okay? So before executing this command, we have to follow two things. One is make sure we need to upgrade our Node.js. Angular 19 will support in the Node.js version of 18.19.2 and higher version. So mostly we can use the latest version in a Node.js, okay? So if you look at the Node.js official site, I believe the latest version is 22. So we can check from this uh, download section. Okay. See the latest version is 22. Okay. So just to download this package and install it in my machine already. I have done the step. The next thing is uh, we need to upgrade our angular CLA. Okay. So in my machine already, I have done all the steps. Version. See my Angular CLI version is 19.02 and my node version is 22.4. Okay. This is the basic configuration we have to do. So the commands I will include in the video description. Okay. This is the command. Actually, it will upgrade our Angular CLA. So if you are facing any catchy issue, make sure uninstall the existing Angular CLA, then execute this command. Okay. Okay. Now we are good in the configuration side. Okay. So next we can check in the guide. This is the first command. Upgrading core and CLA from our application side. So currently if, if you look at here, we are completely in 18, okay. Let me execute the command. I'm getting on warning that is actually not a problem in saying the installed Angular CLA is outdated. So our installed version is 19.0.2 and look like they have uh, did some minor releases. Okay, 19.0.4. So anyway, that is not the problem. See, it's upgrading all the core libraries like a dev with CLA compiler and also upgraded the TypeScript. So now it is installing all the packages. It may take some time. Okay, uh, installation is completed. Uh, we can execute this uh, migration also. Otherwise, we have to do all the steps manually. Okay. Again, some configuration level migration. We can proceed as. Okay. The installation gets completed. We can review the changes. So there are 24 files, like 25 files. Okay. So in our package.json, uh, we can see most of the libraries are converted into Angular 19, except the CDK. And this material way we can do manually. And this NGRX related items. Okay. And additional packages like a mask and a toaster.
we can execute the separate command or uh, toaster is the highest version 90 mask we need to upgrade okay okay and then package hyphen log dot json uh, anyway it is the detailed library information no need to worry and in our common and app common side okay so if you look at here this standalone hyphen true flag is removed okay the reason is uh, so in angular 19 the components are defaultly as yes, standalone if there is no flag then obviously it is the standalone component in case if it is not a standalone component then in this situation we will have one flag and the value should be false okay so since our components are standalone this flag is now removed okay it will be included for all the components i believe yes yeah you know we have around 20 plus components so that's why so that's why the same change is applied for all the components okay so next what we can do let me focus on the other libraries we can take this cdk and this material ui okay i already prepared the command let me execute them okay the repository is not links please commit or stash so we can commit this one step one this is the first level of command we have executed i'm just committed or uh, not pushed into our actual repository we can push at the end okay see it's updating two libraries only cdk and our material ui uh, previously it is in 18.0.6 now we are moving this into 19.0.2 okay so first it will cleaning the, the node model folder then it is installing the new packages that means the old libraries are uh, cleaned then it is installing the new version 19.02 okay okay the changes are done now see our material ui and cdk also upgraded okay so next we can focus on this ngrx related item okay so in the ngrx side we have one small challenge okay currently we are in angular 19 but in this ngrx as of now the latest version is 18 only okay they not yet released the version 19 but the thing is currently we have a beta version so we can upgrade this into beta version so we can expect very soon they will release the version 19 okay so if they released the version 19 then we can ignore the beta command so now let me show you how to check that so if you look at the npm side then you will get the complete information okay so currently uh, they are in 18.1.1 but our needed is uh, 19 so if you look at the version side uh, see in this bottom we can see the beta version this is the expected version will be released as soon as possible so currently we don't have option so we can use the same beta version okay i just prepared the command let me show you see we have three libraries one store and fx dev tools so in case if you use the additional ngrx library so that also you can include but you have to mention the version like this okay so let me copy this command so we cannot directly execute the command to make sure we need to commit these changes okay upgrade step two so let me execute this command okay see okay it's updated our package.json file uh, we can see the new version new beta version okay and here also it's doing the cleanup of node models directory once it is done it will install the packages with a new version okay we are getting some error uh, so look like some catch issue only okay so anyway let me execute the npm install command i believe once our stable version is available or uh, these errors won't be occur okay okay there is no issue it looks good only okay so finally uh, this ngx mask uh, currently we are in uh, 18 so this one also 
you can upgrade this you may have a question uh, if you look at the npm site we will get the command like npm install and this package uh, name okay but we are using this ng update so the reason is uh, if we using this ng update if there is any migration needed then it will do automatically that's why we are using this ng command step 3 And finally, you can execute this ngx mask. Ah, it's just updated uh, and clean up the node model directory and installing the new packages. That's it. Okay, the installation gets completed. Uh, let me execute the npm install command once again. If there is any dependence with the other packages, uh, we will get the error in this stage. Okay, so now it is executed successfully, then there is no issue. But the very important thing is make sure our application should work after upgrading. Okay, so let me check that also. I'm just running my application and I have one JSON server API that is currently in running mode, there is no issue. Okay. Application running in local host 4.0. Okay, I just refreshed. Okay, again, the initial load, the pages are loaded fine. I'm trying to update the value. Okay, the update's working fine. So maybe if I'm trying to remove this one removed successfully okay the delete also working fine okay so now we successfully migrated our application from angular 18 into angular 19 uh, we have used most of the commonly used libraries okay so still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching